Talisman. I might just this. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my full complete Brilliant Stars Master Set with a bind arm using a Vault X Lost Origin themed Special Edition 12 Pocket Binder. As for the sleeves, anything with a yellow border, I'm using a Dragon Shield yellow matte sleeves. Anything with a black border, I'm using a Dragon Shield black classic sleeves. Anything with a silver border, I'm using a Dragon Shield silver classic sleeves. And anything with a gold border, I'm using a Dragon Shield gold classic sleeves. I opened up roughly 500 packs, 488 through Brilliant Stars products and the rest through various collection boxes and those type of products. And the remaining cards that I needed for the rest of the set, I bought through eBay. So without further scooby ado, let me show you the binder. Alright guys, so here is the binder. It's a 12 pocket page bolt X binder. So on the shield 11 which is lost origin all right so here's the first page so starting things off with the first page with the grass type we've got execute with this common and reverse hollow so executor executor and then streamish prelume tropius third big second page we've got grotto with terror um, with the Torterra, the non holo you only get that in the build and battle stadiums, I believe. From the build and battle stadium decks that you get, you get a, rever um, a non holo version in it. So you got three Torterras, a non holo reverse holo and then holo We have Burmy, Wormadam, Morphim, Cherubi, and then our first V is the Shaman V, Shaman V Star, Terrorblast, Rude V. Charizard, Charizard Star, Magma. With Magma is the same situation as the Torterra as well, so you get a non-holo version in the Building Battle Stadium decks. Not a Building Battle Stadium, Building Battle Kit decks or the boxes, whatever they're called. Building Battle Kit boxes, yeah. Building Battle, Building Battle Kit boxes. Magma. Actually, no, it's not. I got confused because I saw the Magma. I said, okay, so never mind. Scratch that. Magma is just a normal. Uncommon? Or common, actually. You got Moltres. Yeah, Moltres is definitely a thingy. Um, a non holo version. Reverse and a holo. So, yeah, the Building Battle Kit Stadium. Building Battle Kit boxes. You got NTV. Torkoal. Chimchar. Monferno. Infernape. Another one. That's a non holo as well exclusive to the build and battle kits you got Simiseer, Kingla and King of Max, Staryu, Lapras, Corfish, Gordon. you got Snowrun, Piplup, Primplup, Empoleon this Empoleon is supposed to be a normal reverse and a hollow and then in one of the collection boxes I think it was an Infernape V collection box you get the cosmic holo version of the Empoleon holo so i added that to the binder which kind of screws up my binder a little bit but it was it's a, it's a different holo variant which is brilliant stars as well so i might as well have added it in which i did we've got Breezel, Floatzel, Luminion, Manaphy, Cobchu, Vertic, Ice Raichu the single Raichu V, Electabuzz, Electabuzz, Electivire, Raikou, Shinx, Luxio, Luxray, Pachirisu, Fairy moving on to the Psychics, The Fable, Stormy, Mewtwo, Granbull, Baltoy, Fadal, Fadal, Dusko, Dusclops, Dusnoor, Chimeco, Whimsical V and Whimsical V Star, Sigilith, the Dene, Mimikyu and Mimikyu V Star, Milsery, Out Creamy, Him on Top, Nose Pass, Nose Pass, Trap Inch, Black Bravo, Flygon. Um, just a little side note as well. All of the main set from the Leaf up until the trainers i did manage to pull all by myself it's just from the ultra rares plus so the i guess the full arts and above is where i had to kind of source through ebay the extra cards that i needed 
But yeah, the main set from I'm guessing from let's say one to seventy two now because the full arts are part of the set. So yeah, and all the main set basically that doesn't include full arts and above. Yeah. So we got one madam. Yolu Lucario is another non holo Yeah, another non holo from the building battle kits. Bro, Sork, Pollet, Pollet, Grimer. From the darkness, we got Mark, Sneasel, Weavile, Punch Bro, Spiritomb, Burloin, iPod, Impidimp, Morgrim, Grimmsnarl, Morpeko, Agron and Agron V Max, Wormadon, Wormadam, moving on to the metals. We got Probo Pass, Heatran, Scavalier, Clink, Clang, Clink, Clang, Zamazenta, and Flygon. Gibble, Gabite, Garchomp, Axial, and Fracture. Axorus, Jodigon, that's the ending of the dragons from Dracovish, and then we're going into the colorless, so Farfetch'd, Cast Form. Starly, Staravia, Staraptor, the Doof, the Barrel, another one that's a non holo from Building Battle Kits, Arceus VMV Star, Minchino, Chinchino, Donatus, Alucha, Trampa, and then moving on to the Trainers, Acer Rollers Premonition, Barry, Blunder Policy, Bosses Orders, Cafe Master, Jaren's Care, Choice Belt, Cleansing Gloves, Clap Stadium, Cynthia's Ambition, Fresh Water Set, Cleansing Gala, Gloria, Hunting Gloves, Kindler, Magma Basin, Marnie's Pride, Hot Helmet, Professor's Research, which another one you get in non holo from the Building Battle Kits, Roxanne's Backup. Here we're moving on to the full arts now and as much as I hate this happening where I would love it if the full arts could just start from one page but it doesn't work like that so six of the cards flow over to the full art page which is Team Yells Cheer, Ultra Ball and Double Turbo Energy. So starting things off with the full arts we have Shaman, Charizard V which I had to source, the ult art I had to source, the Charizard V, both Charizards I had to source. The only ult art I actually pulled from Brilliant Stars is Luminium V. That's the only ult art that I pulled in Brilliant Stars through 500 packs. And then we got the full art there, Pikachu V full art, Raichu V full art, Bramble full art, Whimsicott full art, Hunch Crow full art, ult art Hunch Crow, Damazenta V, Flygon, Arceus V, Arceus V, ult art. I don't know whether this is my favourite or the Charizard between these two I, I feel like the Arceus or Art is more my favourite and then we have the Full Art Trainers Barry, Sharon's Care, Symphon's Ambition Kinlaw, Marnie's Pride Roxanne's Backup, Shaman V-Star Charizard V-Star I pulled that I'm glad that at least I pulled one of the heavy hitters in this set which is Charizard V-Star I think I pulled all of the V-Stars actually. Pulled all of the V-Stars. Yep, I pulled all the V-Stars. I think these three I pulled within... No, the rainbows, no I didn't. It was just a regular V-Stars. It was a regular V-Stars. Uh, that I pulled, I think, in my first booster box. We got Rainbow Sharon's Care. Rainbow Symphys Ambition. Kindler. Roseanne's Backup. Our first gold card, which is Articuno V. I pulled all of the... Valerian Birds, Gold Cards, I believe. I'm sure I pulled all of them. So Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, Arceus V-Star. I don't remember if I pulled that or not. I don't remember if I pulled it or I bought it. I think I bought it. Ended up buying it off eBay. We got Magma Basin, Ultra Ball. And then, starting with the Trinity Galleries, we got Flareon, Vaporeon, Octillery, Jolteon, Zekrom, Dosnoir, the Dene, Alcremie, Ariados, Undoom, Eevee, Oranguru, 
and then the trainer gallery v's and v maxes so we've got bolton v sylvian v sylvian v max mimiku v mimiku v max single strike urshavu v single strike urshavu v max rapid strike urshavu v rapid strike urshavu v max ambion v i believe i pulled that one i believe i pulled that one the v max i believe i bought actually i might have pulled both of them I might have actually pulled both of them. I think I pulled both of them. And I was chuffed when I did pull them, so good to know on that one. Ace Roll is Premonition, Cafe Master, Gloria, Rapid Strike, Star Mustard, Single Strike, Star Mustard, and the two black and gold cards, which is the Rapid Strike, Usher V Max, and this Single Strike, and then Rapid Strike, Usher V Max. And just to fill up the space, I did a V star marker at the end of the page as well. So that is the end of the Brilliant Stars main set and Trainer Gallery set for the binder. And then the following page are all the promos. They're not in set number or promo, like sequential number, because I'd rather have the Leafy on, Leafy on V, and Leafy on V star. It's like Baby Leafy on, teenage Leafy on, and then Leafy on V Star, which is adult Leafy on, I guess. Kind of wanted to do that setup, but I did it like that. And then we got Baby Glacier on, teenage Glacier on V, and then adult Glacier on V Star. And then after that, I think I did it in order. So Pikachu V, that was from the Pikachu V collection box. I think this one, I don't know if it should be in the Brilliant Stars promo section. I only added it because there's a Pikachu full up, so I thought, you know what, might as well add the Pikachu V as well. That's part of the promos. And then we have the stamp promos from the Build and Battle Kits. We got Moltres, Lupario, Lipod, and Lupario. This reverse stamped Mewtwo, I believe in the UK, you got it from ordering, I think, £10 or £15 or more um, from WH Smith. If you bought any. I think Pokemon products for £15 or more from WH Smith. It might have been just been free if you bought any Pokemon products. So that, but I sourced that through eBay. And then you get the Flapon Eevee, which were from the single check lane blisters. Yes, the single check lane blisters. And that is the full Brilliant Stars Master Set, guys. I am, this is like one of the best Master Set. I'm glad I Master Set. I had to, I just had to. Masters of Brilliant Stars, one of my favorite Sword and Shield sets. Probably gonna be my favorite Sword and Shield set. Crown Zenith might take that after a while. Or Lost, um, not Lost Origin, Silver Tempest. I don't know, but I feel like Brilliant Stars is gonna be my favorite set to have from Sword and Shield era. And my first big Master set as well. Um, my other Master set, which is the Celebrations Master set, which wasn't too big, and it was easy enough than a Master set. Um, link in the description down below if you want to see that one guys But yeah, that was celebration was my first master set but brilliant stars I would say is my first big big master set which I'm really really happy that I have the next one I think I'm going to do or complete first is crown zenith I feel like crown zenith will be my next one and then silver tempest so or maybe Scarlet and Violet, depending on how things go. I might do the Scarlet and Violet first before Silver Tempest. We'll see. But trying to do them all at the same time, it's it's too expensive, way too expensive. So I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. But anyway, guys, that was my full complete Brilliant Stars Master Set. If you enjoyed the video, if you stuck with me to the end, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more, and. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.